Right, this is my alien Aurora. It's my dog there. With the new bicycle signals on the back. These are them. On the front there. The switches there. And on the back. The lights. So first test it's just press one set. Go to the front and show you. That's how bright they are. Same time as you press that, the rear one comes on from a distance. Very clear which you go in there, right? Same again. Press the left one. And it comes on on the left side. Again, from the front. Very good, very pleased with them. Been out in the wet today. Two lights there, I put on my Aurora. I'll just switch them on anyway and have a look. Very bright as you can see. Two lights put on, which mounted, just as you see, under, under there, where the old brake clamps was. And a little jack skeleton. Show the back lights. Which you bought the other set and which comes with an extra backlight at the bottom. Also have the, um, you can put the buy signals on. Full light. Or flashing. See them flashing there. The front one. Press it there, I don't like the front one on flashing. Well that's the bright, press one of the indicators so you can see, so that's the light with the indicator on. Well I'm moving around here, but just so you can see. Nice bright light with the indicator on, put that one on flashing I think. Yeah that one on flashing. Turn them back on. Modifications I've done with the bike is these handlebars, 710 mil from each side, standard are 600. And the extra grip is excellent for the width, makes the bike seem a lot more sturdier. The bike signals mounted over there, which wasn't enough room for my speed unless I had it on an angle. So I just wire tied it through here, and it's nice display. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel there, as you can see, it's a nice middle mount. I also bought some wider pedals. You see how good platform of these pedals, really good. Two sets of grips there. Uh, lowered the back pannier. The back pannier has been lowest on its lowest setting. So now it nearly covers the motor. As you can see, the motor's here underneath where the panniers from a distance it'd be hard to tell that that was an electric bike which I do get some luck sometimes going up the hills there's about 21 miles per hour pedaling assist up a pretty good gradient of hill I get about 17 miles an hour on the steep ones you think it's going to cut out but it just keeps on going and going and going it doesn't matter how steep it is. I changed the gears accordingly. I also mounted a nice water bottle there. Comes in and out. Lovely. Just fits. Save me bending down. I need to figure out what to put on them pins. Surely there must be something. But above all, it's pretty good. I'll just show you with the lights fully on. I hope I don't get done for blinding anybody because uh, I've got two lights on, the one light on the buy signal is there and two lights there so as you can see it's pretty bright and you'd have seen me coming. 
doing the indicators again, can't leave them alone. Don't know about the battery usage yet, but there you go. My bike, the lights on, really good. Anyway, I just thought I'd do a quick um, preview of the bicycle lights and the Alien Aurora, which has been an excellent bike so far. I've had it three months, saved me a £190 a month so far, instead of using my car just to go five miles there, five miles back. Also put a, a different seat stem on because it comes with a suspension seat post which I didn't like, it made the seat too high so I've got it now to a good riding position. Right, okay chaps, just thought I'd give you a quick preview, I'll see you later.